Ace. Baby boy, I'm dog sitting today. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys, third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now we are basically almost done with this entire Joiner Lucas Evolution EP. We're on the second to last track. I, we're, well, I'm gonna listen to Father's Day and then get to the last track, but I'm gonna skip Father's Day in terms of a reaction. So we're on track number. We're on second to last. And I've said it plenty of times through that throughout this entire EP that like I've already. I'm at a point where like this album is solid like this is gonna go down as a classic Joyner Lucas album because so far there are literally zero skips if I had to skip one it might it might be the one with the Shanti only because like I'm not really I'm not really about like that lovey-dovey type of rap like that that type of like toxic relationship type rap so like I am like ah, about it you know but even that I could see how people like it because if for that style of rap it's a really good track but yo I'm about this entire album so far and hopefully this next one legend featuring rick ross is the same rick ross obviously that's a huge feature just as big if not bigger than the feature with the game i'm expecting good things from it i wasn't really a rick ross fan at the very beginning like like during his earlier portion of his career because i thought lyrically his shit just wasn't there for me and i couldn't connect with his sound but then after he was on after he was on devil in a new dress on kanye west album damn why can't i why can't i remember the, the album name oh my beautiful dark twisted fantasy for some reason i kept thinking beauty behind the mask is because beautiful beauty I don't know why but anyway ever since I heard Rick Ross on that track I'm like oh shit all right he's bringing his a game now ever since then his songs have been solid his features have been solid and I'm hoping for no different right here but that's all that I gotta say follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest just like the channel the links are down in the description below and we got Joyner Lucas featuring Rick Ross legend let's get it should I close my eyes sometimes and I just think like like, did you really do this shit, my nigga? Like, is this shit even real, cuz? <sighs> Yo, I can, I can understand that, uh, I can understand that sentiment and that feeling because sometimes I think the same thing about what I'm doing right here on, on YouTube. Like, yo, did you really, did you really just quit your job? Like, quit your, like, your decently paying job and go full time on YouTube, relying on Patreon and, and like, and relying on just the consistency of videos you put out? Like, we really out here, bro. It's a dream job, but don't get it twisted. It's a, it's a lot of pressure. There's, there's high pressure on me right now. More so than any job I've ever had before. That shit crazy. I go to sleep and I try to wake up with a clear conscience and shit, you feel me? Like, I done been through the mud, niggas sacrificed a lot to get to the end zone, my nigga. Just trying to give our kids a better life than we had, it, nigga. I always wanted to change the cycle and create a new generation and pass down everything I work for, my nigga. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. Look. That's what I mean. That like that grown man type of like type of talk. You know, I, it it ain't about all the flash. It ain't about all the glitz and glam. Like, yeah, I'm glad that I got here and that comes with the territory. But really, I'm just trying to you know I'm trying to leave a better place for my kids. I'm trying to leave I'm trying to leave a legacy that betters my kids' potential legacy. I wonder what life would probably take me. Yeah, won't break me. Yeah, I show some love to niggas who hate me. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I kept my cool without no AC. Yeah, right. got Ooh. something to prove. I jumped in the pool and now I'm wavy. Yeah, Ooh. And lately. I kept my cool without no AC. Like, bro, there again, he came from the bottom. He was poor. So there's a high chance that his car didn't have AC. His house didn't have AC. Definitely not central heat or central air. So continuing that same line, like I jumped in the pool to like keep cool, to, to keep my cool. Also to keep my calm amongst all these haters. Like these people are haters. I, I still say what's up to them. Like I still treat them with respect. I kept my cool by jumping in the pool. That's why I'm wavy now. Like literally pool waves, like ocean waves, fire. In the pool and now I'm wavy, yeah. And lately I've been trying to hold my blessings. You talk to God, but you don't know the message. Those are lessons. Mm, yeah. Walking in circles without no direction, no exceptions. Whoa. Don't give advice if you don't know depression. Close your lips, cause half of you more full of shit than cola cleanses. I was born. Ooh, in close your lips, cause half of y'all are full of sh and full of shit like colon cleanses. Like you clean and cleanse out your colon and detox and full of shit. That's fire. He said you talk to God, but you don't know the message. Like you're just like you don't you don't realize why he's putting you through the trials and tribulations that you that you're going through. You just you just asking for better times when really he's trying to teach you something with the times that you're going through currently. And he said, Don't give advice if you don't know the pressure. 
same, bro. Like pressure on him, pressure on me from a from a much smaller sense, but still. I will tell you that like this YouTube thing, like it, it was a lot more, it was a lot more relaxed and it was a lot more like easy going whenever it wasn't my full time job, whenever my money wasn't, whenever my life wasn't depending on the money that's coming from YouTube, you know? Cola cleanses, I was born inside a manger. And no one ever did me favors, now I'm highly favored. I finally made it out the hood, now I ain't got no neighbors. So before you talk to me, you gotta sign a waiver. Post traumatic stress disorder. Yo, he said, I no one ever did me favors, and now I'm favored. Like, like literally in betting, like when you bet on on uh, on sports, and when you bet on really, I guess it's just sports betting and horse racing. Like when somebody is favored to win, and somebody's favored to take the crown. Like you wasn't there for me. When you nobody was doing me favors before I got to this position. That's just the workplace, though. Post traumatic stress disorder keep my conscience racing deep inside my thoughts. Wonder how much I can grow if I just even out my flaws. How I teach myself I'm still a winner even when I lost, and if I lose, I know I still be. Even when I'm off, I took my chances and I'm eating now. Yo, I like he says, even when I lose, I'll still be a winner. Like I like I'll be on even when I'm off because it's all it's all a mentality. Like you're gonna have your setbacks. You're gonna have your flaws that you have to work through, but it's all a mindset. Like, like, is this gonna be my detriment or am I gonna use these flaws? Am I gonna use the this opportunity to build something? Am I gonna use this opportunity to grow my character, to heal with scars? And the scars are always gonna be there, but it's a sign of progress, you know? And don't get it twisted. Post traumatic stress isn't just for someone who's coming back from war or someone who it's for anybody who's gone through any kind of serious trauma which is why a lot of people that get to join this position they, they don't want to let off the gas because they don't want to lose everything that they've built because they don't want to go back and experience that trauma because it still haunts them even with the even with the success that he has now you know took my chances and i'm eating now i'm finally learning all this shit i used to read about now i can live all of the shit i used to dream about because niggas try to leave me out but i learned to get revenge through my success and so we even now mm. it's never my reflection because i like what i see like what I all them years at cvs working them nights on my feet on my all them years at cvs working them nights on my feet bro like dead end ass job like just a very low level low paying job for those that are from the united states cvs is cvs is probably the biggest the biggest pharmacy slash like convenience store chain that there is like cvs and walgreens but CVS has money money and he said I stare at my reflection and I like what I see because we came all the way from the bottom from them late night shifts at CVS just being a stalker like like nothing crazy all them years at CVS working them nights on my feet and a nigga where I'm from I reach the heights that I reach I risk it all to get this life to my seat and if I die today I'm going out of fucking legend fire if i go out today i'm gonna die a fucking legend all right p nipsey dog this is such a chill ass beat such a chill ass song it's just very it's very reflective and and you can hear it like in the lyrics and you can hear it in like the it's not bright it's kind of like a melancholy it's kind of like a bittersweet type of sound that's the that the instrumental has like it sounds like he's been through trials and tribulations and then the beat sounds kind of sad like that but at the same time it's bright like like i've gone through all that but look at where i'm at and look at where i'm going like the past doesn't define who I am but it's definitely it definitely laid the foundation for the person that I've become in order to get to the position that I'm in that, that, that's dope they gonna play this when I'm gone and I'll be resurrected yo dog the first off the hook is, is dope it's like he's at peace knowing that if he dies today he's gonna he's gonna go out as like as like someone who's iconic someone who's who's left his mark in the rap game so he doesn't want to go out but if it happens so be it you know but what i was gonna say is that rick ross is like rick ross's intro before he starts rapping when he's when it says like Maybach music like that shit that's one of the best fucking title tags or, or artist tags or producer or, or label tags i've ever heard it's so iconic <laughs> I done seen a couple niggas losing no. life over a dollar. And it hit the hardest when it's not an outsider. Better keep your money close, cause that's the only thing that's honest. Everybody thugging till they gotta face your honor. 64 on no, see like rick ross's lyrical style has gotten just so much better like now, ever since that verse that i heard him on on devil in the new dress like it's, it's like it's like that moment on that album that like completely changed my perception of who rick ross was as a as a rapper to the point where i'm when that when i hear a rick ross or when i see rick ross as a feature i'm not like ah let's see if he brings it it's more like damn i'm excited because rick ross is a feature he said i've seen a couple people lose their life over a dollar like just for money and and everybody wants to be a thug until you're facing your honor, until you're facing the judge for your 20 year bid, you know? Until they gotta face your honor. 
64 Impala, hopping, scraping, bumping, chronic. Riding solo, cause these pussy niggas out here count pockets. Stacking all my money. He says 64 Impala, hopping, scraping, bumping the chronic. Like, just if you don't get the visual, I don't know how prevalent, I guess you could say, lowrider style or lowrider culture is. But the 64 Impala on like hydraulic bags, bumping up and down, bumping the chronic by Dr. Dre, in case you don't get the reference or what he's talking about. Stacking all my money at the same time, lacking knowledge. Homegrown in the South is in my blood and body, body. You say you own your masters, can you tell me mm. what they worth? I still be having flashes because it came from doing dirt. Bro, he said, he said, you say you own your masters, and he's talking about like the master, like like his vocals. Like he still like he still owns all the rights to his masters, his vocal tracks, like the raw, the raw, uncut, unfinished song is just a bunch of masters. So he's saying you own that, which a lot of artists don't, because when you sign the record label, like the masters, the vocals, everything that that's part that goes into making the song is owned by the label. So he's like, Yeah, you're bragging that you own your masters, but what are they worth? Like, are you are you anybody that's anybody in the rap game? Are your masters worth five hundred dollars? Or are they worth fifty thousand dollars for a feature you know and again the ptsd thing that i said earlier he said i still be having flashbacks from when i was doing dirt like I, i'm almost i'm successful but the but that doesn't that doesn't negate the pain that i that i'm always gonna have from a life prior 50 restaurants are popping and i still be popping perks give you to support but then they rob you for your merch shot it in the foot what pussy boy you're rocking skirts PJ to Miami, where you know who got the perk. Got oh, 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 oh. Is he talking about fucking Tory Lanez right there? He said pussy boy shot her in the foot and he still be wearing skirts? God damn, Rick. I wasn't expecting no fucking diss line. That's a bar. But again, just going back to the PTSD line where he's like, I still got this pain. I still got this trauma from a life before. Like my, I got, I own 50 restaurants. I'm making all this diversified money, but I'm still popping Percocets to deal with what happened in the past. You know, like just because you're successful now doesn't negate, doesn't wash away all the, all the memories and all the scars from the, from, like I said, a life prior. Shot in the foot, what pussy boy, you're rocking skirts. Ooh. PJ to Miami, where you know who got the work. Got the condo on the beaches, let the bitches come and twerk. Hey. Woke up out of coma, fuck around and fuck a nurse. Hey. If I die today, I'm going out of fucking let yeah, fire, dog. The only thing that I wish about Rick Ross's verse right there, because it, it just kind of came to like a br an abrupt end. Like it didn't it didn't just end in a normal like the way that the way that joiners, it kind of transitioned right into it where he was ending the verse by saying saying shit like if I die, it, I want to leave this place better for my son. And then right into if I die, I'm a fucking legend type thing. But Rick Ross kind of just seemed like he was flowing and all of a sudden it's done. And then the verse like I just wish there was a little more continuity there. And if I die today, I'm going out of fucking legend. And if they play this when I'm gone, then I'll be resurrected. That that going out today, I'll die a fucking legend. Like that that upward inflection right there it reminds me of Dom Ken Kennedy for some reason. Like that's that's the, that's the artist that I hear whenever I hear that type of that type of flow. Like specifically the song 5.0 Conversations. So I me Venice Beach, you looking broke? Not me. I'm riding big. I'm shining big. Like like that upwards always. But yo. Another solid track, like no misses again. In terms of the order listing where I like from my favorites to my least favorites, every song is good. So like every song is not gonna be a skip. So when I mean least favorite, I just mean like the other ones are standout tracks, but I would still listen because every song so far has been a bot. But this one would probably be right in the middle. I just picture myself driving at night, like the highway, all like I'm alone on the highway to myself, like 1 a.m. And that's just the vibe that I get from this. And that's, it's gonna be a very situational listen, but is definitely not a skip. I'm fucking with this song and I'm fucking with the entire album, bro. I can't, I can't even tell you enough. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. We got one more to go. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing because subscribing and liking the comments and commenting and all that, that helps activity on the channel. It gets pushed out for recommended for other people to view whenever they, when, you know, in the recommended section when they're on YouTube. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter. Hit up the Discord. You want to talk to me, the Discord is probably going to be the best place to do it so the patreon discord twitter and instagram all those links are in the description below but that's all that i gotta say today ladies and gentlemen i appreciate your time and like i always say at the very end go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video peace